Okay, so the project I'm doing today is I'm removing the wood decking on this porch. Uh, this porch originally was a three season porch. That was a wraparound porch. It was opened up about 30 years ago. So we have excessive rot underneath it. I priced out doing treks uh, and it was just way too much money. I don't have to rebuild the whole subfloor. With that being said, I don't know, pressure tree doesn't seem to hold up anymore. So therefore what I'm gonna do is backfill all this underneath here with modified, compacted, and pour concrete. But it's a round wraparound porch. So I mean, it's pretty cool. So I'm gonna keep that same characteristic here. We're gonna form it out, still have it round. Have a one inch lip like you see right there. And go from there. I just went through and painted everything. Installed can lights, ceiling fans all the fun stuff. So I'll put some before pictures of it and uh, I'll keep posting a couple updates as we go along. So yeah, I'm going to uh, basically go off of this concrete block, have a four by four go up to there as a temporary post. Then we can start removing all these columns. Then eventually I'll have bracing from the exterior so we could pour the concrete inside here without having anything to work around. All right, cool. So we're up to an update on removal of this outer band. That was pretty cool to note just how they got this round one by. They notch the back of it and bent it in to meet the contour of that round shape. You can see how bad it's pretty well rotted. I'm gonna stick my finger right through. All that material, it's just dust now. But yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. So yeah, I can't wait to get this up and get moving on this. They have a one by here that goes against that beam. And like I said, they have this outer band where they have a cut notch so they could bend it around the perimeter of the radius of this porch. Okay, we're back. We've got the floor tore up. We have the floor joists, the outer band, which was basically just sawdust, moist sawdust. We got the posts down, so we reused them. They're pressure treated, it's still in good shape. And uh, over here, I'm going to jack up this floor a little bit, put a little two by six underneath it for right now, and then I'll cut them back and I'll frame it down, put a piece of pressure treated so my concrete won't go under that porch. And obviously we'll put some modified underneath there, haunch it down so it'll still be stable and concrete won't want to flow underneath it. But yeah, it was quite the day. And the porch is all painted underneath so all the paint's been slopped in the old board. I don't have to worry about putting on the new concrete or cleaning the new concrete or putting any type of drop cloths down because I'm a messy painter. So next is we'll clean out all this scrap wood so there's no organic material left in here to rot. Shuffle these rocks around and go ahead and uh, put some modified in here. My dryer vent comes out right there. I'm gonna extend that out through a piece of PVC conduit. Run out this way, go through the old access right there, and uh, run through a piece of four inch conduit. Let's see what these boys are working on. What are you guys doing here? Look like a bunch of beavers. <laughs> nice. So yeah, and then I have to Square that off, put a vent from the exterior for that little outcome for the window. And go from there. So yeah, I will upload another video after this. So as you see in some of the still photos I've taken from the past, a lot of the wood that's tongue and groove uh, beadboard, and it's starting to fall down over the years. I'm thinking that uh, there's no ventilation inside the ceiling. So with all the heat and just moisture, stuff started buckling. And after we pulled it down, notice there wasn't enough nailers. So as you see in the pictures, I've added a ton of extra support above it. Uh, once the wood was taken down, I cleaned it, sanded it, 
went ahead put some uh, kills some white kills on it went over that with a yellow lemon kiss from our local uh, hardware store paint and what you see there at the end is five gallons of paint if I had to do it over I would have thrown every board out and started from scratch but I thought it would be a little bit harder to recreate what the previous guy did as far as setting up all the round curves and uh, angles that was cut into it so it was uh, a lot more work than I first bargained for but I'm kind of happy with the end results and uh, just gotta get some concrete poured and get the next video up of us doing that so yeah enjoy and we'll go from there as always thanks for watching Give the video a big thumbs up and make sure to hit the subscribe, subscribe, subscribe button like everybody promotes in their YouTube videos. So I guess I got to do the same. Uh, as time goes on and I get a couple more friends on here, uh, I think it's low enough right now. I could throw a subscriber party. Uh, maybe we'll do like a big pallet fire and something really cool. Uh, go from there. So yeah, give it a big thumbs up, like it, and uh, share with your friends. Thanks for watching.